Hi and happy Halloween. Ooh, we are making shrunken heads today. Ha 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 ha. Hi guys. How are you? But we are making shrunken heads today. I have, this is a DIY. Woohoo! And this is probably the easiest that you'll ever do a DIY. Me, for sure. Um, anyway, how y'all doing? Um, thought I'd dress up a little bit today. Probably can't fully see me. Let me jump. Woo! I am a unicorn. So, anyway, we are going to make our shrunken heads out of apples. So, bigger than apples if you want. This is good, like, if you're having a party or you're just having, um, you know, a big family gathering. You want to get a see-through uh, see glass because the shrunken heads are going to go in the apple cider at the end. Also, we're going to do half ones, so if you want them to float in your glassware, that's cool, too. You'll need uh, lemon juice you'll or lime juice with sugar. And that's what we're going to roll them after we peel our apples and then bake them. The the long this is a long process because once you we go through everything, we're going to stick them in the oven at 200 degrees for six hours. This allows them to shrink up, which is pretty cool. I probably should have left mine in another half an hour, but we'll see how they are. Fingers crossed, they turned out good. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour in my apple cider and get this out of the way so and you can have this warm preferably but we're just going to pretend mine is warm it works best too if you do have the spigot that you can just you know put your glass underneath and turn it that would be when you have all of your uh shrunken heads floating on it so yeah here we go um I'm gonna put that over there. You want to peel your apples first. First of all, I feel like I'm in 4-H again doing my demonstration speech, which trust me, I love 4-H, but this, that's what this reminds me of. So I I don't even know what kind of apples you guys are, but I got the biggest ones there was, were, sorry, bad English. Uh, let's see if it says what they are. Oh, honey crisp apple. Wow, they're huge. I guess I really don't want to take the tag off. I'm going to be peeling it. Just get yourself a little, we used to call these paring knives. I don't know if they're still called that, but you're just going to start at the top and start peeling. As I'm peeling these, look what my mom peeled, like when she made um, apple pies, apple cobbler. I'm like, I can make, remember how I say I love pie and I might as well just make my own. But these are good too for, if you have brews, not a big deal because uh, if you cut these in half and you make like the half shrunken heads for your glassware you could just cut that spot out spot on and you don't have to like peel the ends real good but I'm going to cut this in half and make a half of one for um, my cup monkey's down there he jumped so this is what I'm going to do. You can have like two halves if you wanted to. Let's uh, peel the other one. We're going to leave this whole and make it a big shrunk head. For those of you who had like the fancy peelers back in the day, it was a mechanism you like stuck it in there and then you cranked it and the peel would just be flying right off of it. My mom actually had one. I don't think it worked all that good. So maybe they perfected it since then. I don't know. But anyway, you guys, you know, Halloween is a time to just kind of be goofy, dress up, especially if you have kids, you know, they like to see mom and dad be funny too, you know, get into the spirit of it. You could do it all month, you know. I was reading this one article, this, um, one brother every time his little brother got off the bus he would meet him at the bus stop with a different costume on every day and it was the cutest thing of course it embarrassed the younger brother but it was years one he goes you know i never forgot that that's my brother must have really loved me a lot to do that and it was, it's probably still on 
Facebook, I think I saw that on, but I thought, oh, that was, that's really cute. I mean, I think his brother was like 18, 19, so cute. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna stand inside. I don't know how good you can see, but we gotta put the eyes on before, so we're gonna just um, make a really deep hole for the eyes. And it doesn't matter, they don't have to be perfect because it's gonna shrink up in the oven. So it's kind of like that. Then you can make a mouth however you want, evil or not. So that's a, a big chunk there. So this is how it's gonna look going in. So you next you want to do is put your lemon juice, put your lemon juice in a bowl. Let me get back here again. Hey, are you helping me? Martin. So I, I've got this, I've got some in it already, but put your juice in there and then you're going to add about a half a cup, depending on how many apples you're doing, of sugar. So like I, I'll be, like I did um, probably th three, four apples in there and I put like a half a cup of sugar and you can use white sugar or brown sugar, whatever, or not brown sugar, well I guess you could. I don't know what color the apples will come out, but it, they still be shrunk on heads, right? So, let me get this. So this one's all ready to go. So you just kind of put it in that lemon juice mixture. I suppose it maybe tends it from getting too brown too fast. Not for sure. So after that's done, you guys, we got to add um, eyeballs to it, and we're going to use the whole clothes. So we're gonna stick them in where we cut out the eyes. And then you're gonna put it on, in, uh, I put, this is a pizza pan, you can put it on a cookie sheet, whatever it does. Let me get these out of here. You need a bigger table. Okay, here we go. So. So excited to see what they look like. I, I peaked like a couple hours ago, so. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, so these are the clothes that you're going to put on there. Um, put them over there. Okay, so this is exciting. So you already rolled it around in your lemon sugar juice. You're gonna find your eyeballs and then you're gonna stick this right in the middle, like that. And then you get another one, and you're gonna put it on the other side, in the middle. Just like that. And it's ready to go into the oven for six hours. I guess more if you want them more shrunken, or I know um, ovens do bake at different speeds and stuff, and I just don't think mine's as hot, but, because they should be really shrunken. I, I found this on uh, Food Network, actually, and I thought it was really cute. And theirs was really, really shrunken. I'm shrunken. Now, maybe they put left theirs in longer. I don't know. But you just pu you're pushing the stem of the clove. There's a stem, and then there's the round part. So let the round part be the eyeball. Or I didn't, I didn't you could probably put that in with the clove. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, you know what, let me just do this one. I had the bruise on it, it'll come out, oh, perfect. It'll just be a flat face, a flat face shrunken head. Okay. I, I, a lot of you guys are DMing me on my Instagram of a DI do-it-yourself projects. And there was this one and they go, oh, we thought you would love this. And I do, um, it was, um, uh, meatloaf made into a foot and it had um, pineapple, thin slices of pineapple for the toenails. It had ketchup coming out of the ankle. That was really cool. And then it, you know, it just shaped the meatloaf like toes. That was pretty cool. So thank you to who sent that to me. I think I had seen that one too on Food Network. A lot of good ideas. Good reason to still watch it i know but i'm so i just i'm waiting for them to change up the cast people okay so back in with the clothes so there we have 
two half shrunken heads going to come out and the whole one. Alrighty, simple as that, you guys, right? Simple, like as if I can do it, it's simple. All right, let's get this out of the way and we're gonna have the finished product coming up. So talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Monkey's like, what are you doing, Mimi? Oh, and if you can see my glass over there, see, look at all the spots in that glass. Woo. Pretty bad. All right, so like I said, you can either have like a, a see-through glass mug or a wine glass. Either one is going to work. Um, since I don't have a spigot on that one, I will get a ladle and we could pour it in there. So, and it will be magic before your eyes, you guys. Hang on. It's coming. It's coming. Let me get my really good um, oven mitt out, right? And voila, here they are. <laughs> Woo. There's one shrunk ahead. Now, I feel like, see if I leave them in longer, they're gonna shrink up even more. So, unless I just have really too big of an apple, could be that. Let me get my little ladle out. Oops. Okay, once again, not really prepared, am I? All right, so I'm going to fill this up. We'll pretend it's my hot apple cider. If you guys want my hot apple cider uh, recipe where I add to regular store bar cider, I think it's on a couple of videos before this. But you might want to check that out. Okay, cool. Now, what you will do if you're going to have your own little, <laughs> it's like a witch's brew. We are going to let them bob in there. And you guys, it is amazing, but the face side does face up. I don't know if I can show you that. Let me see. Pretty cool. Oh, well, that one did. There we go. Oh, I guess you just have to roll them that way. Huh. There. Oh, oh, there. Oh my gosh, yes. Actually, let me just bring you over and get you hopefully this one see cool huh and then you get like four or five in there depending on how big your container is pretty cool all right so and now with the half ones like your little we can just put them on top like that Let's show you <laughs> and they would be like this when your people get their drink and then you go bon appetit <laughs> mm. and there's your shrunken heads made out of apples so um yeah maybe a little smaller apple because they might shrink up faster i suppose the bigger the apple the more i should have left it in probably another hour or two but i did it I thought, well, how many, six hours? What am I gonna do for six hours waiting for this to be done? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this DIY, you guys. This is probably the easiest I'm gonna get. Keep sending me your, your do-it-yourselves. Even if, and when you do it, your, if you do one yourself, I would love to see the pictures. Send me one on my Instagram, Mom got back 583 appreciate it. And anyway, I am going to go and finish my hot apple cider cocktail. Whoa. Have a good one, you guys. Oh, oh. <laughs>